Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to walk through how to create a publishing scenario using the EasyDita PDF generator. We'll use a few basic examples to show how anyone can make changes to the PDF styling with just a little bit of CSS. With Dita content, the styling is applied at publishing. This means that rather than writers spending time formatting each document for each output, the publishing scenario is set up once and then automatically applied on output to all future published documents. This saves an incredible amount of time and it ensures that there's a consistent look and feel to all the published documents. Now let's design a publishing scenario. In Easy Dita, from the dashboard, there's a list of tools on the left hand side. Select PDF Generator and click New Scenario. Now enter a scenario name. You can select the template. The PDF generator comes standard with a handful of base templates that you can start from, but for now we'll leave this as default. Now we'll save our scenario to a folder. Click Select. From the Scenario Configuration screen, we can change the name of our scenario, the save location, and the design. The PDF generator uses HTML for the cover page and CSS markup to style both the PDF and the web content. Before we style our scenario, we will select a map and use that for previewing. We recommend that organizations create a test map and fill it with all of their standard and unique elements. This test map is a fast way to ensure that scenarios work well with all of the organization's content. Now that we have our map selected, we can begin to adjust the styling. We're going to start by changing the font that's used in the PDF. First, let me change the heading font to Open Sans, which is our company standard. Next, we'll update our titles to the Jorsic shade of blue and make them all caps. Now let's actually make all of our typeface open sans. You'll see in the CSS editor that if I click on the color, I can actually select the color or change between RGB, HSL, or hex code for colors and manually type them in. Next, we want the first word in the note element to be bold. So let's switch over to the HTML view and find the span class for notes. Here we have the span class. So now we can go to the CSS editor and add this little bit of code to change the font weight. You can change it to bold, or if you want to be exact, you can type in the value. Now for one final example, I'm going to make some changes to the look of the table of contents. First, we're going to remove the bullets. and add some spacing to the margins at the top of the table. Now, we'll add some dashes in between the text and the page number. On second thought, let's change those to periods. Now let's add a title above the table of contents. All right, those are some quick changes that anyone can make to their PDF document. So we'll save the scenario by clicking Save in the top left. Now we have a new scenario that you can publish to any map. If you would like to use the examples that were featured in this video, you can check out the description of the video. Now that we have the scenario saved, 
we can navigate to a map that we want to publish to a PDF. On the left side, we see our saved scenario. Like I mentioned earlier, EasyDita comes standard with a handful of created scenarios. Users can use these as a starting point for developing their own PDF style. With EasyDita, publishing custom PDFs is easier than ever. The PDF generator comes standard with every EasyDita subscription tier. If you'd like to learn more about the exciting possibilities with EasyDita and PDF publishing, you can visit EasyDita.com.